Oh my god, we have a frosted donut as well. This is the best day of my life. Today, we're going on an adventure. Today, we're gonna fit in the plans that we were talking about ages ago. And today, we're gonna go to a fire station that we visited some time ago. And we're gonna make it our new base, our forward base for our eventual attack on the giant ass mall that is part of Louisville. Let's go. I've loaded the car with all kinds of food and ammo and weapons and all the things I could think of. Of course, we cannot take everything with us. That's just not possible. It would take quite a few runs to do that, but I have taken as much as we can. We also have a spare generator with us that I went to pick up from the areas that we explored previously. And well, we got all that. And now we have a long drive to get to where we want to be. So we can hopefully defeat the zombies at the mall. Eventually, probably not today. Probably tomorrow if all goes well. Now, another thing I want to do while we are on the run is find a new hood for this car. Because the hood in this car is in like 20%. So a couple more hits and we're going to be taking damage to the engine, which I definitely do not want. I also looked through our ammo supplies and we have plenty of 308 ammo. So I took a gun that uses that with us as well. We also have a decent amount of shotgun shells and some ammo, the 556 for the uh, M16 that we're using. Yeah, it's M16. And then we have quite a low amount of 9 mil. I think we only have like two, three boxes of 9 mil left, which is pretty sad. Is that a fire department there as well? Did I at some point drive all past that? That looked like it could have been. I don't know. <laughs> so the 9 mil interdynamic gun that we've been using as our sidearm for ages now will have to be replaced unless we find some more 9 mil ammo. And I have grabbed a cold... I think it's like a cold commander or something like that. It's what it's called. And it, that one shoots the 45 bullets. And I have been told that those can be pretty decent. So I went with that. And we have a couple of those. A uh, couple boxes of the, that ammo in our inventory. And yeah, this is where we are completely ruining the hood on our car. I really should have found a replacement before we went through these streets. Oh, well. Hopefully we can find a replacement hood somewhere around here. I have taken all the tools for uh, vehicle repair with me just just in case because you never know. Of course, all kinds of this stuff could have been found out here where we are going. But just in case, you know, unless we are very unlucky or something, I would rather have all of that with me. This bad boy looks like he's got a good hood. Maybe we'll have a stop over here. This is the... These are the grounds for the festival, I believe. So festival grounds out here. I we can we can clear some of these guys down. There's not that many zombies following the roads over here. Right? Should be just decent. We should be just safe and fine. I like it how it just targets zombies all across the map with this gun. Basically all across the map. Even though we don't have like a sniper uh Oh, jam. Okay, we don't have a like a sniper scope on this. It still targets from like miles away. A couple more boys coming down this way. Maybe I should take them out before I try to do any vehicle mechanics. I don't want to get jumped by any of these. And of course, our goal is to take care of the city anyway. So might as well do that, right? 84% in the hood over here. That's pretty good. Car key is required. Well, what if I tell you that there's a zombie coming for me. <laughs> that's, that's not what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to go and use my hammer to break this window. No, not vehicle mechanics. Smash the window. And then we're gonna have the car key. Imagine if the alarm went off right now. That would have been great. All right, new hood is gonna be acquired in about a second. There you go. All right, and now we can go replace this bad boy over here. Oh yeah, it's down to 0% now. Hmm. Good timing there, good timing. The engine is still 81, so the engine is decent. Let's drop this one and let's put it on the 84 percenter. Perfect. Our trunk is also in bad condition, but for that, I do need to get some uh, metal working skills. Look at that, three metal working in both of these to be able to repair. So I, I can't really do that. All right, this we should be coming uh, very close to the 
fireplace or fire station, whatever you want to call it. Yes, yes, this is it. We can we can nicely park inside, keep our car safe as well. About that. There you go. And now we're going to have to go make sure that this place is empty, which is not at least not yet. We're going to have to make sure that this thing also stays empty. A couple of friends are coming. Don't worry about that, friends. Uh, I'll take uh, I'll take good care of you. Trust me. There you go. Oh, never mind. These trees that we have over here are going to be ideal. You chop down and then create some window barriers down below. I just don't want them really coming inside of my house, you know, when I sleep there. Of course, what we're going to do is we're going to take a sledgehammer to the stairs, make sure that they can't get up to us. So... That way we'll be safe while we sleep, but still, you know. I would like to make sure that these tennis players are here, uh, you know, don't, don't come hanging with us. Because we all know how, uh, how that can be a problem these days. If you're a tennis player and, you know, you have an issue with uh, zombification. Now, we have to make sure this is empty. I'm pretty sure we have cleared out the whole place downstairs last time. But, you know, I would rather double check than anything. I wonder, can you climb up here? Can you use this, like, to climb up? Just like sheet ropes? That would be awesome. Doesn't seem to be the case, though, unfortunately. Alright, downstairs, safe. There's nobody out here. We're good on that one. But upstairs, who knows? I don't hear any banging, so it's probably safe. But, of course, we're gonna do a good old double check. Lots of space for activities up here. We also have a water dispenser, a nice kitchen. You know, all the luxuries that we didn't have out there. We also have some food out here, sardines and such. What is there not to love? Our own fridge? Hey, it's great. We have a pool table over here, a TV, some sofas. Oh man, we're gonna have some good times over here. And these over here are the sleeping areas. We can sleep over here or we can sleep in any of these bunk beds over here. These ones are average quality, so we're not gonna be sleeping here. But this one over here does have good quality sleep, so... That's all I really need. No toilet zombies, which is uh, a big bonus. There's some nice proper jackets over here if you really needed them. But, you know, we're going with that military look. I think uh, I think that's that's more important than going for safety here. All right, upstairs is also clean. We are looking good, boys. We're going to make this place safe. Like, no place I've ever been safe before. All right, there's uh, one thing I wanted to do. Let's destroy this wall over here. Now, I'll tell you the reason why we're doing this. This is gonna be kind of our entrance into the garage, right? We can we can see the garage in here. I don't want to try falling down. <laughs> now, I want to build a wooden fence over here. Right there. And we can add the escape rope. Alright, and now if we go down here... Yoink! We come into the garage. Perfect, right? We have a nice entrance to the garage, which means that now we can go and take a hammer to the stairs and we're gonna have a nice safe area up there. And I can also, of course, later on go and add more sheet ropes to the windows. We have like back exit, etc, etc. Now we have a lot of windows that we could barricade over here, but I was thinking, what if instead of barricading the whole of this section, we go over here and we put log walls right there, like these three log walls, right here, and basically seal off this area. We don't need this downstairs area at all, right? All we need is this area up here, where we can climb up and do our thing, and of course then we barricade a couple of these windows and call it good. Now let's hope we don't get jumped while we uh, take our axe to these trees. That would be slightly unfortunate. We're gonna have to chop off a bunch of trees to actually even do this properly, but that's fine. We, we got a couple out here. We got this. Easy. Alright. That would be the second log wall over here. Yoink. There you go. This is gonna be the last one. And then we're gonna be kind of nicely isolated in here. Perfect. Look at that. We're gonna utilize the garage. Yes. I think uh, we're gonna store the ammo and such in here. Because we have lots of spaces. And there's a firefighter helmet. That we're not gonna use. Because, you know... It's not what we use. We're not gonna need this. We're gonna need most of this for ammo and such and 
I guess we can put food in here, or we can put food upstairs. That could be uh, safer. I mean, it would be safer putting everything upstairs. So here's our storage. Right now over here we have our striker shotgun with 22 extra shells and 18 boxes. Uh, next we have six boxes remaining of 9 mil for our pistol or our sidearm. We have 34 boxes of 5.56 for our M16. We have then another 21 boxes of 308 with the Remington M40 rifle that we're using for that. We do have like 60 more boxes of these back at home. So this is this is this is the one that we're probably going to be using for a while. Then over here we have the Cold Commander, the pistol with the Oh wow, I just noticed I never actually fully finished this working on this pistol. I never gave it Ah, that's fine. Now uh, we can, you know, we can use it later anyway. Uh, five extended magazines that hold 15 ammo. We have 16, 17 boxes of these. More at home. Then over here we have our Molotov cocktail with the grenade launcher and the explosive rounds that we have used at some point. Uh, then over here we have the Macmillan, the Tech 50 with 50 BMG rounds. And this thing does have the magazine. So we got... That's our ammo stock over here right now. It's getting late. We're probably going to have to go to sleep before we actually finish working on this whole thing. All right, organization done. We have this box over here with our food and medicine. I think we have medicine over here as well. I kind of screwed up on that one. Uh, that should have been in the same thing. Don't worry about it. We have a bunch of beta blockers over here. And then over here we have all kinds of tools and some weapons and and such that we're gonna need. As you can see, we don't actually have that much stuff with us. Not that much stuff at all. But it's gonna have to be enough for now, and we can of course do our own looting uh, later on. Tomorrow I'm gonna go fix these windows, and we're gonna go uh, explore the neighborhood a bit, I think. Uh, but for now, the man's tired. He's also getting bored. Ah, uh, here's zombies downstairs. Of course they're right down there. Please don't bang on the window, because you're going to wake this man up when he goes to sleep. I beg of you. Maybe you should turn off the light. Nobody... Oh, come on. Oh, he broke the window already. What? Excuse me, sir. Where'd you go? What did you do? He's back here somewhere, isn't he? That's, that's a toilet. He's not in here. Where are you? This way, then? Yeah, there, there you go. More than just one, I see. You guys... Oh, come on, not a jam right now. Sir, sir, what did that window ever do to you? Stay down. The night went by peacefully. We're all good. We're feeling good. He's He's got enough sleep for Max Chad. No annoying zombies were confusing him over the night, so he's all good. Now let's go take a look if any managed to break in through here the night nope this all seems fine so today we're gonna go explore the neighborhood a bit and of course barricade some of these windows that would be a good idea the man is hungry though poor guy now we have cleared this fire station before we don't really need to take a look at that we have zombies playing <laughs> tennis over there no that's a basketball court actually never mind i'm thinking over here uh there should be some food places that we're gonna go take a look at but first i want to actually drive all the way down here further down here there should be a gas station before you get to the mall somewhere around this way so we're gonna go see if we can hook up this gas station there you go to a generator and this is gonna be our source of gas for you know while we live down here we do have just one generator with us so that's a bit unfortunate but you know it's gonna be fine in the long run uh surely we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a chance to find more as long as we survive and as long as my gun don't constantly jam. That'd be a great idea. Now, zombies, please stay down. There was one sitting back there. Oh, hello, sir. I need to pay attention to what's happening all around me as well. But. This is a pretty good start. I, I thought there might be one of them sneaking up on me. You never know. We have two more shots. Sir, leave that window be, please. Lady, where'd you come from? You know what? Nightstick for you. My god, it takes a while to kill stuff with a with a nightstick, doesn't it? 
so used to these guns now. It's just like, yeah, melee combat, shmelly combat. We have a couple more groups up here. I'm just gonna preemptively go and uh, say hello to them. The range in this gun is superb. Like, I, I love this range. And it, it does actually have a pretty good minimum range as well. So not even an issue. We have a couple more groups down here. I just noticed there's some people at the gas station as well. All right, these are dealt with. Are we really sniping them from this far? My God, what an impressive rifle. I never knew that this M16 was so good. Usually I was all like, yeah, shotguns, you know, shotguns are the best. You shoot many people with them and level up nicely. You can be a noob and actually use it. This thing, this thing's pretty darn good. And this is the entrance area to the mall. The mall is sort of up here. That's going to be our next target. I have an idea how we're going to uh, clear that bad boy out. It uh, It's going to involve, uh, involve a siren once again. I think uh, we can abuse that to hopefully get more zombies out while staying at a safe position and using a long range rifles. But that is a thing we can do tomorrow, not today. Today? We hook this up to a gas and then go see if we can have some junk food from this gas station. There you go. Generator is going to be connected now. We do have a gas can with us that we can actually use it to fuel it up. There you go. Let's grab this bad boy, fuel it up, and then we can turn on and add some more fuel. Oh, somebody's shooting somewhere. Jesus, that's going to move some zombies. We're just going to refuel uh, our fire truck from the pump. I don't think we need much fuel, but whatever fuel we can get is is good. So we don't, you know, at some point run out of it accidentally. Now, let's see what kind of junk food we can find in here. We found a bunch of good stuff. Seven sodas. We got peanuts, 15 pops. Tortilla chips. We got some normal chips. Uh, I ate some beef jerky that we found. So some decent amount of uh, things out here, you know. More junk food for the for the glory of the junk food gods. We're gonna go see if we can get some more canned food now. Also, if I notice correctly, if we go back here, maybe this this taking this valley really isn't the best idea, is it? No, this is not the best idea. But this oh this over here should be a gun store, I think. I think this is a gun store. Let's go, let's go take a double look. Can we go through here? Yes, we can. Let's go. Easy money. Yep. I think this is the gun store. Yep, this is definitely a gun store. You can see American flag and that's gonna tell you we sell guns over here. But what do we say to guns? We say not today. And uh, we go over here with a thing. There might be some food for us. Let's go check this store. This is a, it's a large store. Hello, friends. How do you do? I'm sorry because I have to break the windows for you. But somebody has to. Never mind. All they're selling is uh, pens and pencils and doodles and scissors. So none of that. I wonder, do these have water in them? Oh, yes. That's good. We, we could bring some of these back. I don't think we really need them, but eventually, maybe. We'll see. This over here is like a giant storage lot that could be useful. But right now, food. This might end up being a fight for us. There's also some inside. Gotta be careful not to have my gun jam in a unfortunate moment. Yeah, it's, I thought that's not gonna really work. Okay, we need to move a bit further down this way and then we uh, fight. This should be good enough. Hello, friends. With this burnout building behind us, who knows, there's probably no zombies upstairs so it's not that big of a war that something's gonna come at us just one lady for now just one lady all right you can see we are next to the fire station basically already uh we have more down this way uh crawlers and all that stuff but as you can see there's some food stores over here that i kind of wanted to check still have multiple out here on the street that do not care about our gunshots. Oh, that was an unfortunate jam. We could have gotten both of them together over there. So, two shots for these now. Just one man banging in there. 
Uh, let's see. We still have more. That's a giant building. Finnegan... I think that's... Finnegan Research Group? I wonder what they were researching. Maybe how to make... Zombie Cure. Alright, so beer cans in here, huh? Alcohol then? Not the biggest fan of that. I will take a couple of these. That's fine. Bourbon I will take for Molotovs and such. Fun thing, we got a key for this car in there. Is it any good? It's got no gas. And also it kind of banged up. I don't think we really need it. Let's go check this grocery store as well. Hopefully there's going to be something that's not just fresh produce. Although it certainly looks like it's just something that's going to be just fresh produce, unfortunately. Chocolate donut? Now we are talking. That thing never goes bad, even though it's been like half a year since the apocalypse. More now. Oh my god, we have a frosted donut as well. This is the best day of my life. All the cakes and pies and all that stuff. Always rotten. Donuts? Donuts survived the apocalypse as well. You'll love to see it. Food has been acquired. Uh, we're gonna go home, but we're gonna also have to take care of some of those boys out here on the street. I see you there, buddy. And there, of course, is more that you never know when they're gonna come after you when we chop down these trees etc so i am terribly sorry but you guys need to go as well imagine if all of these we had to fight in melee i think our guy would be uh getting a bit more tired a lot more tired probably and i like this how some of these zombies just excuse me was that my uh suppressor dying not my suppressor dying Oh boy, that is a bit of a difference now in uh, <laughs> in the sound. Shit, okay, we lost the suppressor. We do have one back at home, so I'm gonna have to go get it again. Not entirely the most amazing thing right now. Well, now we know that before we go attack them all, we're gonna have to go get that silencer. We do, we should have some, actually, maybe that rifle store over there, that ammo store is gonna have a silencer for us that could be a thing yeah maybe i don't need to go home maybe we just need to raid that place but first i'm gonna chop down some of these trees we're gonna saw them into nice little uh why can i not remember the name of planks that's just weird so yeah we're gonna saw them and we're gonna barricade some of the, the windows down here just so we have some extra safety while we sleep overnight. We're gonna start barricading from the outside, so, you know, before before they smash the window, they actually have to go through the planks. And I know we can put four on the inside, four on the outside, and we probably will with time. For now, I'm just gonna drop two each, and if you can get some sheets, so we can put sheets on these windows, that would be perfect. I don't think you can put sheets on these doors, though, so that's gonna take a bit longer. All right, we have this whole place barricade it of course zombies will have to oh don't don't fail jumping this buddy <laughs> zombies will have to break this door to get to any of those but you know i still barricaded it there just just for the extra safety and we have two planks in all these windows we can continue with more uh tomorrow we'll probably tomorrow what we're gonna do is first we're gonna raid the gun store see if we can find the silencer and then, well, hoping that we find a silencer, we can then attach that to our M16 and then go have some fun with the zombies at the mall. Now, since it's evening, but he's not very tired yet, we're gonna do some tailoring training because eventually we do want to go and fix our clothing to have, you know, some tailoring protection. And for that, we have some rib sheets, we have a needle, we have a bit of thread, you know, all the all the good things over here. And we can even clean all of these rags over here if you so desire to have even more clean rags. So we're gonna take the formal shirt and what we can do is start like patching holes and adding some padding to all of these. Let's first patch this hole with the rib sheets. Back uh, when we were still, oh, is he doing it? Oh, there you go. He's done it. We just couldn't quite see it. So back at the, the previous base, we did read the tailoring book. So we do have the XP for that. So we're going to start uh, adding padding to all of these. That should give us a bit of XP each. How much is it? 4.5? That's 6. So 1.5 for each. So, you know, the better, the better we are at this, the more protection we can give to 
our shirts and such. And now we can just go and remove all of these patches. I don't know if you get XP for removing uh, as well. You do get a bit of XP, actually. Okay, 7, uh, 0.75. That's, that's decent. Well, we ran out of sheets before we could level up. But maybe just like an hour or two more of this would give us a level 1 in tailoring. And then we could have more protection. I think at this point, like... Fixing this gives us like 1% more scratch defense on, let's say, on the upper arm over here. Not much, you know. We also use a bunch of thread, but that's fine. We can we can do this once again at some point. Oh, we have antibiotics over here. That's, that's decent. I didn't realize that. That's fine. We're going to store this over here. And, you know, whenever we don't have anything else to do, we can do that. Oh, suture needle as well. Hospital gown. And I see a... Here a goddamn zombie. Are you are you kidding me? Are you below this window again? We really need some sheets for this window. I hear you. But where are you? Oh. Somewhere over there. Oh, I hear you. There you go. Yeah, there's more. Could you guys be nice and be like out here? Alright, alright. Let's jam right there. Why is everybody always coming to this window is my question. What is about this window that you guys like so much, huh? Well, that was some bad shots there. I wonder because if he's because he's tired. Drowsy. Although I don't think drowsy reduces accuracy, it just reduces the damage. But it's damaged by melee weapons, right? I don't think it has much effect on range although it probably does but please let me know if you guys know well it is past midnight if we are to do something tomorrow it's about time we go to sleep so let's do that thank you boys for watching you know i appreciate it very much and now it's time for the men to sleep